Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in. It is February Favorites time. And before I begin sharing all the wonderful February Favorites that I have right here, I want to go over some current events like I always do. So the month of February is very special to me because very special people in my life celebrate their birthday on that month, such as my mom who celebrates it on the 26th. My dad also celebrates it on the 22nd. My cousin Catherine celebrates it on the 21st. My best friend Tati celebrates it on the 14th as well as my friend Christine and Judy as well. She celebrates it on the 2nd. So very special people in my life that mean a lot to me celebrate it on February. Isn't that amazing? And I, I just received so much love lately. I just have been loving this month. My friend Venetia mentioned me in her favorites video. It was just a huge surprise. Thank you so much Venetia. One of my best friends, Jackie, she's so kind to me. She surprised me too and she mentioned my cooking channel in her favorites video and I was not expecting that at all. So thank you, Jackie. And then my friend Christine, who I also mentioned, who celebrated her birthday on the 14th. She mentioned me. She really liked my Shh Girl Say video. And I was really surprised. So thank you, Christine. And then today is the 29th. And I'm just cruising the web as always. Or I guess not cruising, surfing the web. And I find out that Mimi and Layla mentioned me in their video. And they, I just received so much love this month. So I truly thank you all so much. Thank you, Layla. Thank you, Mimi. I never knew that um, you ladies watch my channel. I just feel so honored because I've been watching you ladies. You guys are like my hair goddesses. You guys have the most beautiful hair and I just can't believe that you watched my channel and that you mentioned me. So I'm truly grateful for every single one of you friends that have mentioned me in your videos. I, I just feel so much love. And because of that, I really feel a lot has to do with like my positivity and like the way I think lately and I have to thank this book a lot because like the month of January was a bit like hard for me like I I was going through some sad times but I started reading this book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and this book has really changed my mind about a lot of things I'm a lot more happier I'm a lot more positive if you can tell and um, it just really put a lot of things in perspective and put a lot of things in my mind that's really important. So I definitely recommend this. This will change your mind about so many things. You're not going to sweat the small stuff anymore. This is going to be definitely a life changer for you if you can really focus on the good things in your life and just read this book. I, I definitely recommend it. So that's my first favorite. And then um, unfortunately, my skin wasn't doing very well this month. It was actually not doing the best my face was raw I was breaking out and it's my fault I like to test a lot of skincare products and that's my fault that I'm like putting on retin-a and then I'm putting on other skincare products and then I'm trying microdermabrasion that you know like the PMD so it was all my fault for ruining my skin at that month but I went to Lush and I purchased this BB seaweed mask my husband Justin he likes to call this the spinach dip mask <laughs> I mean, yeah, it kind of looks like spinach dip, but instead it's actually seaweed inside. And this, I I think I have may have mentioned it in like a tweet or something, but this really helps save my skin. It minimized the redness immediately. Like my face was so raw, it was in so much pain. I actually missed on this Google meetup that I was supposed to attend because my skin was so raw and so much pain. I was too scared to go and meet like, you know, random YouTube. The BBC Seaweed Mask is so wonderful. I really thank it for helping my skin. So um, another thing that I picked up at Lush while I purchased the BBC Seaweed Mask was this vanishing cream. It's a facial moisturizer that is targeted for acne prone skin, which I have, as well as, you know, like oily skin, which I have. And um, this vanishing cream, I would say, is really a great moisturizer. But the problem is, I like moisturizers that that kind of have a pump or not something that I have to like put my fingers in you know what I mean because it, this can get extremely unsanitary but you know just make sure you use like a little scooper or a spoon but this vanishing cream also has this herbally scent that I'm not quite used to quite yet so um I definitely am 50 50 on the vanishing cream but I thought I'd mention it anyways because um 
it's something that like not everyone has to mention like everything that they love I have to mention things that I that didn't work out for me this month such as the PMD that I tried as well as the vanishing cream but I have faith in the PMD and I'm gonna give it a go a little bit more in the future I just have to be patient because my skin is very sensitive so I'm not like you know bashing the PMD because I think it works beautifully on so many people and it really helps with acne scars okay so another thing for makeup would be this bamboo wear physicians form bronzer and it looks like this it's it's just beautiful packaging and my friend Tati actually gave this to me many months ago and I just love it so thank you Tati she's she gave me like this whole bag of like physicians formula makeup we were just having dinner together one day and she like comes with a bag and I'm like oh my goodness I'm in makeup heaven but th this this bronzer is really fantastic and I use it on a daily basis for contouring and I just think the packaging is just beautiful. I mean, I love anything wooden and speaking of like wooden packaging, my brother bought this new like I iPhone cell phone case and it's like wooden. I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was really cool. So JC, hi. <laughs> I know you don't watch me because you know it's makeup, but hi brother. <laughs> Some other makeup items that I've been loving lately definitely has to be the Buxom Lip Cream in Pink Lady. It just smells so amazing. It has this delicious caramel popcorn scent. It gives a little bit of a tingle onto the lip. I may have mentioned it in my haul video, which um, was in probably two previous videos before this one. Yeah, so I really love it and I definitely think it's something that is worth a try. And I just love the way it smells. It was a plus. And then um, another makeup item would be the Adovia Mineral Matte blush in flirt which is what I've been wearing um, consistently in all my videos regularly lately um, I just like it because it's matte and I like the pink color I think that it just gives this very nice flush of color but I you know I get a little heavy heavy-handed in my videos because I kind of want it to show through so I am wearing it right here such a beautiful color. Another makeup item I'm not going to get into too much because probably everyone has mentioned it. It would be the Naked Palette. I, I'm i probably the last person in the whole universe to purchase it. But I never thought that I had to because I have so many neutral colors. But I really do love the Naked Palette. And my favorite shade would be Half Baked Buck sidecar and sin the rest i haven't even touched yet <laughs> but oh my goodness i just love the naked palette and that's all i have to say um ever since i purchased the naked palette that's all i've been wearing like i don't wear anything else and they're just so pigmented and the one that i'm wearing right now is half baked and buck let me actually zoom in you ready don't be scared okay here i go the last, the last makeup item I want to share before I get into hair care would be the Bubby Dual Eyes Brush. I love this brush and I love this brush this side the most for blending. This is just my favorite brush ever. I tell all my friends about it. I've been telling my friend Jessica about it. I'm like, this is the best. If you need a blending brush, get this one. So this is a must buy. I love Bubby and I actually heard that she's going to um, eventually have her Bubby name sketched instead of um, just having it like this but either way this is a fantastic brush and it doesn't matter if it's sketched or not I just love it you know what I mean like it's such a fantastic brush and it's extremely affordable as well so definitely a great brush but Bubby did give it to me so thank you so much Bubby I truly appreciate it so as far as hair care products I've been really loving my macadamia healing oil treatment I have Skype dates with my girlfriends Evelina, Jackie, Tati, Jessica, and it's really embarrassing because we have Skype dates. Oh, and also my friend Lisa, I've been Skyping with her too. And it's so embarrassing because when we have Skype dates, like 100% of the time I never have my makeup on. It's just at night, you know? And I'm like barefaced. I have a bun in my hair. I'm like applying this hair oil in my hair it's really embarrassing but they know we're girls that's what we do and i just love the way my hair shines with this i even apply it on after i curl my hair like right now i have it on my hair and i just love the shine that it provides i even like the way it smells i love everything about this pretty much so that's a hair care product but when i run out of that macadamia healing oil i don't think i'm gonna like continue buying it or maybe I will, but I'm not the type of person who stays loyal to just like one brand. I like to try different things because that's just how I am. And um, I probably will just 
end up using coconut oil. I like coconut oil. It has so many purposes. It's great for cooking. It's great for your skin and it's great for your hair. So instead of this, if you want a cheaper alternative, just get some coconut oil. Although you might not have, you know, the pleasant scent of the macadamia oil, this works just as beautifully and I do recommend it too. So these are both my favorites for the month of February as far as hair care. So my favorite YouTuber of the month or my favorite, you know, YouTuber or new YouTuber of the month would be my friend Han. I met her actually at the beauty social event. It was like a beautylish event. I think that was held back in October, I would say. I went to the beauty social event primarily to support my friend Wendy because she was a key, like a, a speaker at the event and I had to show my love and show my support for Wendy and I w I'm really glad that I ended up going because I got to meet Han and she's such a sweetheart she's so nice I actually met Han through my friend Jessica you know Jessica I mean I talk about her all the time yeah so Jessica and Han were are like really close friends and they actually stayed in the same hotel um, for the beauty social event and then I got to meet Han myself at the event and I just think the world of her I think she's just so sweet she's so wonderful so beautiful she has a chance too, which I'm gonna show right here you can see her beauty she's so beautiful she's I've never seen a mixture um, she's mixed with Vietnamese and white and I've never seen such such an exotic beauty before so I hope you support her she's my friend and I love her so those are my favorites for the month I wish you all the most beautiful day ever and if you haven't subscribed it would mean the world to me if you did and also I have a cooking channel cook with thank April. you friends so much for watching I have a future giveaway on its way for you and have a good night or have a good morning have a good day bye